Hi everybody, AJ on Gina here, and welcome to part three of going through my old CD collection. So, without further ado, let's kind of get this going. I'm sure you want to get this wrapped up and go to bed. What do we got here? Okay, so in video number one, I ripped out Big Shiny Tunes 2. Got some flack about it. So, let's talk about one, three, and four, shall we? So, everyone says this is the best one. Yeah, two was pretty darn good. Um, okay, one more astronaut. That's pretty good. Machine head. So we got Manson. No duh. Okay, this one was pretty good. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what just made this one a whole lot better. The song called "The Good in Everyone" by Sloan. Sloan, really great Canadian band. I like them. Ooh, and Moist. You guys remember that from video two? How many times can I say Moist? I said what Moist three times now. Moist is a band. Four. Moist. Um, three and four. Uh, Smashing. Po oh, Fastball the Way was on here. My Hero, Foo Fighters, Semi Sonic, Bare Naked Ladies, Third Eye Blind. Oh, more Sloan, Money City Maniacs. Okay, this one's pretty good. I'll take this one. Oh, Space Lord by Monster Magnet was on here. I cover that one too. Moist. <laughs> it's on this one. Uh, Blink-182, Matthew Good Band, Smash Mouth, Tea Party, Silver Chair, Serial Joe, Conline Crush. Okay, this one's pretty good. You know what? Can you really go wrong with Big Shiny Tunes, though? At least up to four. This one was pretty good. Does anyone else have, like, five and beyond? Do, do you guys know how many they actually made? I should probably write that in the comments. Because I guess I'm talking to a camera right now, and nobody can quite answer me. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd. I like I know the guy's still playing, but I think this was like his only big big like commercial release. Um In Too Deep was good. Last Goodbye Last Goodbye was probably the best one. No Black on Blue. That must have been a different album. Maybe he did have more than one. Black on Blue is pretty good, but live on. Okay, I'll take that one. Alright guys, Tommy, Chris, Ian, if you're watching this, this is your disc, Inflicted, of Dirt and Dust, Honey Shells Don't Believe, oh yeah, so funny story about Honey Shells and Don't Believe is I actually did like remixes of those with some of the original stems of the song, um, boys, I don't know if we're ever going to release them, but Inflicted, there you go, oh cool, alright, Zucker Baby, uh, I feel like these guys were out of Calgary for some reason. Uh, Shampoo, Heavy, Andromeda. Andromeda, I think, was their big hit off here. I, I feel like the whole premise of that music video, you guys remember that? Much Music Countdown? That was summer of, like, 97. Uh, Andromeda was, like, a guy standing on a building, and he, like, jumps off, but it was just into one of those bags that they use for, like, fire departments and stuff. I don't know. Zuka Baby. They did have another good song on like one of their older albums or newer albums called Shampoo. Okay, that was good too. Throwing Copper by Live. I Alone. That was, no, that was not the big one. Lightning Crashes. Okay. Yeah, Lightning Crashes. That's the winner. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you guys know it. Walk. Okay, so uh, many, many, many moons ago, I went to this thing called Country Fest. Now, if you're from Manitoba, you know exactly what it is. It's held every year in Dauphin. It's a big, like, country music festival, like you'd have whatever they call them. Everywhere else, Craven or Sun Fest, or I, I guess that's all the ones they call around here. But uh, you guys know what I'm talking about, like the great state fairs, but without the rides. It's just a shit show. Oh. Why do I feel like it was Dirk Bentley? One of these guys uh, played Walk uh, by Pantera. Anyway, vulgar display of power. There you go. It's a weird little tidbit of information. Obscure one-hit wonder band. I swear I'm not picking my nose. I'm really not. Um, this was a band called Caramel. It's like a cactus with a face on it. Like very typical 90s stuff. Uh, Geffen Records from LA put this out in 97. This had one song and it was called Lucy. So you should YouTube that. Lucy by Caramel. I like that song. Alright, this is not Freak Show. This is the Freak Box by Silverchair. 
Um, Freak Show was a good album. Cemetery, Freak, Abuse Me. Yeah, that was a good one. What else do they have on here? Well, this is just like, these are all singles. And like, do you remember the back in the day when they did this? Um, like they made these box sets, like Cemetery. Oh, I don't. Cemetery Freak. Like this is five discs in one box. This is really cool. I feel like I should make a box set. Maybe I should add that to the list of things I want to do musically. Let's make a, a box set album. Silver Chair. So funny. No, it's, it's not even funny. Why do I say it's a funny story? I just want to give you guys an anecdote. Um, so my best friend Jimmy. He plays bass for me. We write songs together. He's the reason why I do this. Uh, YouTube, anyway, he told me I got to start making more content. Um, him and I, we barely knew each other. And I really wanted to go to Minneapolis and see Silverchair. And he didn't really know who they were. He didn't remember them anything. And he's like, yeah, let's like, let's go. So we made a road trip, we went to Minneapolis and we saw Silverchair play at Fifth Ave. If you guys don't know Fifth Ave, that was like an old train station that was converted into a music venue and it's like owned by Prince or well I guess it was owned by Prince R.I.P. Um, but yeah and then we had Red Stripe and stuff that was cool uh, but First Ave that, or Fifth Ave Fifth Ave is like a great music venue in Minneapolis if you ever happen to be there go check it out anyone who says that Napster never amounted to somebody buying a CD is full of that so Napster back in the day had like a suggested download and one of them was this a band called Shapeshifter and the song was called My Enemy and I liked the song and years later I found the CD on eBay or Amazon you know when the internet was first like taking off with its e-commerce stuff and I uh, ended up buying the CD so a little, little story there I'm gonna skip this one it's still in its package like CD plus doesn't exist anymore uh, this is Evergreen Terrace one of my favorite bands um, I just I downloaded it and I just bought the album just because but uh, Mario Speedwagon that's the one hey okay, here we go Matthew Good Band this was the one Hello Time Bomb Strange Days Load Me Up uh, what else is on here? The future is X-rated. I feel like I remember that one. Not the one I thought it was. Uh, Everything is automatic. It's my favorite Matthew Good song. I feel like I'd be good at that song. Like maybe I should cover that. My favorite movie of all time, Wayne's World. One of my favorite scenes is when everything about you plays, and I think they're at Stan Mikita's Donuts or something. But Ugly Kid Joe, America's Least Wanted. This one had some good ones. Neighbor was good. Uh, of course, Everything About You and Cats in the Cradle. I hate that song. Like, I, I mean, it's a good song. And I like the song. You ever listen to it? It just makes you sad. It makes you feel like a crappy dad. It makes you feel like, oh, I had a rough childhood. Man, Cats in the Cradle, really? But uh, this is a good, good album. Okay. Well, let's speed this up. Three Doors Down, best song on here, a song you never heard. It's called So I Need You. It's the last song on the disc. Of course, this one had Kryptonite Loser, Duck and Run, Be Like That. Yeah, it had some good songs. Three Doors Down. Three Doors Down. Man, I got something in my note. I got some nasal stuff going on here. Woo! These old CDs, I'm telling you, they're kicking up dust. What do I got here? Savage Garden. I got two Savage Gardens ready. Oh, this one's... This one's seen some wear and tear. Which one was better? It's a valid question. I mean, To the Moon and Back. This one gave you a Chicky Cherry Cola, right? What song was that? Want You. Truly Madly Deeply. That might win it for the album. Because it's like, really, this one, I Knew I Loved You. Uh, the Animal Song, Crash and Burn. My favorite song on this album is called Gunning Down Romance. Look that one up on the YouTube. It's a, it's a great song. Now, if I still got time, the video hasn't cut out because my camera only lets me record for a certain amount of minutes. Phantom Power, Tragically Hip, Poets, that's the winner. I think this one had Bob Cajun on it too, maybe. 
Filter, this is not the one with Hey Man, Nice Shot. This is the one with Welcome to the Fold. That's a good song. It's been a, many years since I listened to that. Maybe I should go back. Look into that one. Symphony of Destruction. This was, That was the best song on Countdown to Extinction. Megadeth. There's not much more to say. It's Megadeth. Age of Electric. Canadian rock, alternative... Uh, remote control, I don't mind. I mean, Todd Kearns, was that his name? Todd? Todd Kearns? It doesn't say. I think he plays bass for Slash now. It's really awesome. And the drummer for the Slash Band is from Winnipeg. So shout out to that guy. I don't remember your name, buddy. But I've heard you on the radio a few times. You all know what this is. Bad Out of Hell 2, Meatloaf, I'd Do Anything for Love. That was like the song. I remember I couldn't whistle. And I, and I was like, oh man, one day when I learn to whistle, I'm going to learn how to whistle. I do anything for love. So I can listen to it whenever I wanted. Of course, back then, all we had were these. And we didn't have CD players in the car yet. Uh, the, the Walkmans, the Shockwaves didn't exist. So you had to sit there and listen to it at home. But uh, yeah, funny story. I just wanted to whistle that song so bad. Uh, and that does it for today. That was part three. That's it. I don't want to do any more of these. I really hope you enjoyed them. Hey, maybe I'll make some like favorite songs or favorite albums. Like, it doesn't have to be physical, but maybe I'll make some more of these videos in the future. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends. Do whatever you want. Just thanks for being here. All right.